We've got some four cheese Mexican cheese. Mm. We're going to put it on the bottom of a nine by 13 casserole dish. Yum. How we love our cheese. Okay, now we're gonna take an eight ounce cream cheese and set it right there. We're then going to take some refried beans. Mm. We're gonna put us a scoop and, here. And we got some extra creamy ones this time, so. You know, the other ones you get, they're like hard. They look like they've been processing for two or three years. These are actually really turning out nice. Did you use a blender on them, Kim? Or just... No, I didn't. I just took them and mixed them up. I mean. Okay, so we've got our beans tough. in our four corners. Now we are going to take some sour cream. And we're using Kroger brand. We usually use Walmart, but they wouldn't sponsor us. So we're kind of <laughs> changing up. Okay, you're going to just put your cream cheese in the other little areas. Mm -hmm. And it takes about the whole thing. What well, does Dang, take that's a lot of sour cream. It is. You know who would like that? Tyler. Our nephew, yep. Yes. Next, we're gonna take some taco seasoning. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna sprinkle it on here. This is gonna be a bean dip. And you just wanna do a dusting, folks, cause taco seasoning is so strong. Yes. It's like way too much. Now we're going, of course, to take another bag of Mexican cheese. Mm -hmm and put it on top. You want it completely covering everything, right, Kim? Yes. And then where are we taking this one to? We're gonna take it to the oven mm. and bake it. I'm gonna push it down just a little bit. Bake it for about 20 minutes and then serve it with some Tostitos. Or Tost Tostitos? Uh, tortillas. These. <laughs> These chips, These toast, toast Tito's, Toast Tito's. How do you say it, Kim? I say Toast Tito's. Toast Tito's, how do you say it, Tyler? Toast Tito's, I guess. Sarah? Toast Tito's. <laughs> All right, how do you say it, folks? Toast Tito's or Toast Tito's? <laughs> All right, bake it 350 for- 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right, here's our dip. <laughs> Dang. You know what would have been good in this? What is that? If we added some sort of meat or something. Yes, that would be. I guess we do. Wait, don't we have some sausage? Yes, we do. All right, so we had some leftover sausage from breakfast. So we're actually going to dump that in there now. And then we're going to mix this up. And so as we mix, the sausage should get warm. And taste really good. Okay. All right, let's mix this thing up. Look at that cream cheese. No, cream cheese is something that doesn't. Oh, look how that sour cream. I know, it's really, it curdled. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just get a good mix in, Kim. Now we can corners, because that's where our sour cream is. Mm -hmm. Oh, sh Oh, <laughs> shoot. Mmm, Kim, you're slinging them beans like a crazy girl. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that. I mean, I knew it was hot, but I didn't realize me. When you grab it, uh, one part it's kind of thin. Look at that. Now you need it actually doesn't look that bad. No, you need to get you a scoop. And you could actually probably retry it too. Here, I'm gonna try this. Okay, Charles, I got it all stirred up. It looks really light and fluffy, folks. Now it does. I know, it looks like lifted, sifted higher than the ceiling. Okay, let's but try it's, this. It's gonna be warm, but you should eat it when it's look warm. Look at that bite. Okay, so. This is our uh, our cheesy bean dip. We learned this on, on the internet. Mmm. That's good. really good, yeah. 